I'm Dean Zelensky, founder of Dean Guitars. Welcome to our world. Like guitar companies were very corporate, and rock stars were rock stars, and it seemed like there was no connection between people building guitars and people playing guitars. You know, guitars built by rockers for rockers. And I really felt I could relate to the people who play the guitars. So I just thought I could build a, a much better guitar, but more importantly, relate to the guys who are playing them. So awesome. Nothing this cool yet. This is the best guitar I've ever seen. Ever seen? In all the years you've been playing? Best Dave Mustang guitar, yeah. Absolutely. This is killer. Can't wait to beat somebody up with this. Hello all my fans. Hello Dean fans everywhere. How do you feel about being a Dean artist now? Nice. Good feeling, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Great roster of other people here. Talent. Uh, some elder statesmen, uh, like Rudy and Leslie West and people like that, and some new younger talent, like the guys in Trivium and stuff. And, of course, uh, Daryl and uh, his legacy here. You know, it's a it's, uh, good association. I, I enjoy being at the top of this company here and being able to experience everything that they have to offer. Things like... Uh Explorer shapes and beads were pretty obscure. But rock music was getting really heavy. And I just thought it was time that, you know, we, I brought really cool shapes to the market, but they had to be made really quality. The ebony boards, flame maple tops, binding, uh, better pickups, just a better overall guitar in a shape. And I thought that if I can bring that guitar to the market, I would have a winner. Identifiability, if that's an actual word, was huge. In other words, if my guitars make it on stage, you've got to be able to know it's a Dean guitar. Um, besides the shapes, I, I really wanted to give it an identifiable trademark, which um, I always knew that the go-to place to, to look at to see what brand the guitar was was the headstock. And I wanted Dean to have a very identifiable headstock. And uh, that's when I came up with the so-called Dean head that's really become the Dean trademark over the past 30 years. How you doing? I'm Elliot Rubinson, CEO of Dean Guitars, and uh, you're here at our facility in Tampa, Florida, on Waters Avenue. Uh, behind me is our collection of vintage Deans, dating back from 1977. So these are on display. If you come to our facility for a tour, you'll get to see them and play them. Dean was started in 1977 by Dean Zielinski. We started from the ground up building acoustics, electrics, basses, mandolins, banjos, just about anything with strings on it. And today we ship over 100,000 guitars a year. So it's grown quite a bit from the early days. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the people who are playing our guitars, people like Dimebag Darrell, uh, people like Zach Wild using some of our guitars, Jerry Cantrell, I mean, just it goes on and on. And, um, Seeing our guitars on stage has been a fantastic thing for me, seeing them in the magazines. It's just our guitars are really, really in demand, and we've built uh, a company that we're very, very proud of and hope to see it continue to grow way, way into the future. Of course, we have Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains. Jerry, it's great to meet you. <laughs> You enjoying it so far, especially here at the Dean booth? Well, it's always good because you get to see a lot of old friends. You get to see a lot of new gear. It's always good to see Dean. I, this is the first place I came to say hey to say hey to Dean, man. Which Dean guitar do you play? Uh, kind of a version of the Saltero. But you know, I've always been a fan of you know.
know, the, the dime style guitar, and we used actually a lot of uh, we used to have a whole bunch of Dean acoustics on the on the tour as well. So I have have seen have seen me with the uh, Shanker V. The ML was actually our, our first truly original Dean shape. Obviously, the one who made the guitar incredibly famous was my good friend Dimebag Daryl. Daryl picked up on the ML early and wanted to make it his. Basically, Dimebag Daryl was the guy this guitar was designed for. Not knowingly at the time, but it was supposed to be the ultimate metal weapon, and um, Daryl proved that to be true. Got the dime bag hanging out backstage right here in Milwaukee. You can see, I'm very happy where I'm at, man. As a kid, it was always my dream to be with Dean Guitars, you know, and play a Dean Guitar, to own one someday. After uh, countless days of skipping school and just gawking at the Dean catalog, learning it inside and out, everything about it, dreaming of it happening someday, when I popped my first Dean nut. 16, best nut I ever shot. Moon, swear to God. My whole life, Dean was a thing in my heart. It's always my dream to be with Dean and play Dean. Because, uh, you know, they had them at the music store, and I'd go play them every chance I could. Dreamed of having them. Ended up with two. I won one. My dad bought me one. Lost one. It came full circle. Now Dean's back. I'm back. We're hooked together. And it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in 20 years. So happy. The tone, the playability, everything about guitars. It's amazing and the work with the actual mastermind of the thing that put the original together beyond anything I would ever, ever, ever thought would ever happen to me. My whole life is just one huge rock and roll hell raising heavy metal party. Oh, you know? This is really a new style of guitar, or for Dean guitars. And it's, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it came out way better than I ever dreamed or hoped for, you know? So on top of being one of the baddest playing guitars on the market, it also is ultra cool. With the killer graphic by Stephen Jensen, thinness of the neck is really, it's really thin, so you can do maximum shredding, which is, which is very important if you're gonna play a guitar like this. You can see all the hand detailing that goes into almost every Dean guitar to make the finishes. Just flawless. Every Dean guitar is literally hand finished the same way we, we did it 30 years ago. The mahogany is still hand filled to fill up the grain and, and enhance the uh, pores of the grain. They're hand sprayed, hand sanded, you know, buffed by hand obviously on the same type of buffing machines that we use back in 1977, but we take great pride in our finishes and the fact that, that they are virtually hand-finished guitars. We are here with the legendary Rick Emmett. Rick, from Triumph, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you very much. Well, it looks like you're ho holding a beautiful masterpiece here. Can you tell me a little bit about this guitar here? Uh, this is the limited edition that Dean had built for me back in 1980, 81. Uh, I always loved uh, Flying Vs, and, and uh, of course, I always loved Dean guitars. When the, when, uh, the opportunity came in the 80s, uh, you know, I jumped at the chance to be able to you know, play Dean guitars. What drew you to Dean Guitar? Well, it was quality more than anything else. And they had a kind of a, a class to them. I don't know, a visual kind of appeal that obviously Dean had a lot of style, you know. And, and, and he still does. Yeah, I think so. I think it's true to say that. Yeah. So it was kind of serendipity that the Dean Guitars with the wings and, you know, everybody's got to get their wings. And so I'm getting my wings back. He's got his wings. Yeah, it's 2007. So, yeah. 